couple days ago when, when Trump uh, made his announcement that he was going to be ending the 250-year-old uh, shipping subsidy from China. So what are what are some ways that that, like obviously people running e-packets uh, shipping from China, we don't know exactly how it's going to impact it yet, like how much it, the, the cost is going to be, but it's going to make certain business models very difficult to run when this comes into play. Would you agree? I do agree. Well, first of all, I think it's going to get, number one, more expensive to ship to ship from China. And um, I think the delivery times will probably be around the same. I just believe that the price will go higher in general. And uh, it's it's honestly like it's just getting started. I feel like this is probably one of the first news that we will see over time. So it's not like it's, you know, like it's, all, it's an already developed topic. I think it's just getting started, like the uh, limitations with China and everything. Um, but apart from that, the, I don't think that's the biggest problem, man, honestly. I think I think that's like, uh, like if you pay $2 more per shipping, I mean, you know, in the end of the day, you just pay it, right? Um, but it's more about the fact that you're shipping from China, the delivery times are, are you know, are, are pretty high. They're 15, 20 days realistic with the packet, right? Um, the last product that we scaled with dropshipping, my supplier, uh, what they did is that they have like a, I don't know what they what it is exactly, but they call it like a club, like a, a fulfillment club. You pay X amount of money per year and you you are able to join the club and have faster shipping for your customers, right? And so I was using that. It was not as, as slow as e-packet. But generally speaking, with companies setting the, heart, the bar so high, you know, every time there's faster shipping with Amazon, there's like next day shipping, three day shipping. So even if you get on one of these clubs, like my supplier was is part of, even if you get the product in, I don't know, 12 days, it's just not, it's like, okay, but it's not outstanding, right? And I think that only outstanding brands will, quote unquote, survive in the next years, like, like not good or not great, like outstanding only. And it's very hard, hard to have an outstanding business when there are so much parts where you have no control of. So for instance, how I see it in my head is that let's say a dropshipping business has several parts. The first part is the marketing side, which is Facebook. And in this part, you have full control. Well, uh, quote, quote unquote, full control because you run the ads, you make the decisions, you, you know how many campaigns you want to launch and you spend as much money as you want on it, right? Now, you don't have as much control because of the updates, right? So, you know, the changes on Facebook. So that's that part. Another part is the fulfillment. In the fulfillment with dropshipping, you definitely have very little control, right? Because of, well, first of all, the quality. I, I, I've been working with Chinese people for quite a, quite a bit. And I can tell you that even if they tell you, like good quality for them is bad quality for you. And great quality for them is like, okay, quality for you. So in my opinion, it's just like, um, even if they say it's good or great, you can you cannot really trust it unless you have the product in your hand, right? So quality is something that unless you get the sample, you will have you won't have control because you can't really trust the suppliers now. The express that's is something I've learned. And then the delivery times when it says that um, the order will be fulfilled in three days, it doesn't even mean it's going to be fulfilled in three days, right? Because that the processing time there's there's processing time and then there's shipping time, right? Processing time can take three to five days. Shipping time can take can take three another three days. So, generally speaking, you as a business owner, well, we as business owners, we want to take full control of our lives and our businesses, right? But when there's so many parts where you simply have no control of, it's, you kind of like feel like, well, I have this business, but I don't really control it. Like I run it, right? But I don't control it. So, kind of like that's been like something that's been spinning through my head throughout the past, I don't know, twelve months. Um, and that's the reason why, I, like uh, a year ago, probably I just decided to like, regardless if I have this dropshipping store on the side, I cannot think that that's going to be my 10 year plan because it's not going to be my 10 year plan. It's just a reality, right? So I think it's changing a lot. And I think it's people either adapt really quickly or, or be wiped out because like you said about affiliate marketing, uh, CPA offers, ClickBank offers, you could sell those on Bing and Google, like hotcakes, like a diabetes offer, man. And you, make a lot of money right but now it's not that easy so i think that's that's what happened that's that's what's happening sorry so talk a little bit about your current portfolio then uh about about what you run as an e-commerce entrepreneur you still have some drop shipping stuff that runs on the side but your focus has shifted more to one or two brands that you're 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 actively building yes correct so 
so for instance, and I'm actually going to show you, I have several of the samples over here, which I'm going to show you in a bit. 